Hello streamers. So I'll show you how to get Chroma RGB showing up in your live streams. So here we have a live channel and you can see the Chroma RGB data is showing here. And I'll walk you through the process of setting this up. Okay, but let's uh, go back to the original state. So I'll log out of here, close this, and where do you get all these components? Okay, so first thing, you can get the Razer Chroma RGB for streamers from the Microsoft Store. There's also a quick way to get this from Game Bar. So if you go to your start menu, search for Xbox Game Bar, you can open up the widget menu. You can also get to this if you hold down the Windows key and G. And in the widget menu, you'll find the widget store. And in this list, you'll find Razer Chroma RGB for streamers. Here's where you would install it, done with the widget store. In the widget menu, you'll see Razer Chroma RGB for streamers. You can access it as a widget from here, or in the start menu, if you look for Razer Chroma RGB for streamers, you can run it as a desktop application. Okay, and the first thing you need to do is sign in. So here we'll log in. This will be whatever Twitch account you use that you're also streaming video with. Okay, and once you've signed in, you can toggle the stream. So that's it for the broadcast component. You can also close this. You can access the widget from the widget menu. Here you have the same toggle as a widget, and this will turn on the broadcast. If we open the settings page, there's a quick link for the extension. So this will bring you into the extension dashboard. The configure page has some instructions for how to set this up. You want to have Synapse and the Chroma Connect module. We've already installed the application widget part that does the broadcasting. And we need to set up this widget, okay, which is the Razer Chroma RGB for streamers. You'll install this in the extension dashboard. And here's where you'll set it as the overlay. Okay, now that it's active, we can close this and open game bar again and we're done with the settings go and open your channel and this will take you to your live channel now i can see over here that the chroma overlay is appearing and if i keep my mouse over it i can see the two tabs so there's the status the config so if these get moved around you can reset the config or toggle visibility okay and now we're seeing chroma effects at this point, we'd run a Chrome-enabled game. In this case, I've got a nice test tab here. I can switch between effects. So as I click a different effect, I can see that the Chroma that is streaming is changing. These overlay widgets are movable, so you can place them around your scene. Different games will have different layouts, so you can position them however you want. Okay, and that's a quick overview. So on the broadcast component, you can toggle sending the Chrome SDK to your live channel. Your live channel can show overlays and display the Chrome effects to your viewers. Okay, and thanks for watching.